welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to go over my first appointment with CNY um, Fertility in Atlanta. I did the Atlanta office. It's actually kind of outside of Atlanta. Um, I don't know how far. I want to say like an hour. Uh, I'm tired. Um, yeah, the appointment went by pretty smoothly. Everybody was very, very friendly in the office. It was just a little bit unorganized, you know, and I understand that they are swamped, like all the offices, but I wish that all the teams would communicate a little bit better because um, first I went in there and they did not have any of my paperwork that I had uploaded to my portal. And then I had to redo the financial agreement and it said on the paperwork that I um, had to pay a week after my monitoring appointment which is what I expected but they kind of pushed me to pay that day and I'm like okay that's fine you know I'll pay because you know I have to pay them anyway you know the service but I just kind of it was a little bit unexpected but it is what it is I mean you gotta pay the people, right? <laughs> but yeah, um, I just felt like it was a tiny bit unorganized because, you know, they had to keep calling all over the place to figure out what was what. So, but other than that, everybody was super friendly and it's a very nice office. It's small, but nice. And um, let me see. There's something else I wanted to point out, but I can't think of it right now. I'm so exhausted. We had a long day. Neither one of us slept um, in 24 hours, so, um, and we had to drive two and a half hours to get up there from where we live, and then two and a half hours back, but, um, if I think of it, I guess I'll point out in another video about the office, but other than that, you know, it was really, really nice, I mean, the front office people were nice, the nurse was nice, what was her name, Pam? Pam was super nice. Um, the lady who did my ultrasound, she went over a few things with me and she was super nice about it. Nothing, you know. I heard horror stories about the office, but I didn't see anything. I mean, everybody was nice and, you know, it's just a little unorganized in the beginning, but other than that, I felt like it was great. I went in because I had in my portal. I had emailed the nursing team and I told them that I had missed my period this month and that I wanted to um, go ahead and start my cycle because I didn't want to miss another month and so they told me to come in and do blood work and ultrasound so I drove all the way up there to do blood work and ultrasound and you know I thought we were gonna start like the meds and everything but she told me my lighting was still kind of I guess thick it was seven and a half and she's like you know if it was under seven then I could start but um it was just a little over seven so what they decided to do is put me on Prometrium and I take that for ten days and then I go back so yeah and um we are planning to um go to Syracuse like I said before we're gonna go to Syracuse and from there we're going to do the retrieval and then we want to go to Quebec City and Montreal and I guess Niagara Falls again I'm not 100% sure it all depends on the date because my birthday is going to be I think around retrieval time and my mom's birthday and my brother's birthday so we're all like just like my mom is the day before mine and then it's mine and then my brother's is uh, three days later so we're all in the same week so you know we kind of want to celebrate together but we have to see what's what and see if we're going to be home or if we're going to be in New York I don't know um we'll see my sister wants to go with us to Niagara Falls if we go and if we do that then I'm definitely going to take my mom for a birthday trip and I would like my brother to go but we'll see we'll see we'll see um, but yeah, right now I'm still in the waiting game, waiting to see what's going to happen, and, you know, I kind of calculated, um, you know, a mid-June due date, hopefully, 
mid June 2020 if everything goes right. It was supposed to be June 1st. No, it was supposed to be May. The end of May. I forget which date. Um, but yeah, originally it was the end of May, but uh, now that I have to take two days worth of pill, it's going to be probably like mid June today if we can get started and we can do things correctly because we were talking about a fresh transfer while we were in there. So. I would love to do a fresh transfer and then freeze the rest of my embryos because I know that I really do respond very very well to the medication that they gave me and I produce a lot of follicles so hopefully I get a lot of eggs and then I can freeze some and hopefully they're all good quality because you know I'm not that old I don't think <laughs> I mean I'm 38 you know so Hopefully I get good quality, you know, 38 with PCOS, I'm hoping for nice eggs behind all the stuff. But yeah, um, that's the plan, basically no plan, and whew, I am exhausted, but I just want to update everybody and let you know that I am in the waiting game so um i do plan on pre-packing for the retrieval and i guess i'll do a video about that and everything i'm gonna take and then um oh when i went to see and why they gave me this book and it has all kinds of um pricing and um things that they do in here so i still have to go over this and i put my receipt in there too um but yeah, um, definitely want to, um, definitely want to get this process started and whatnot, and I'm just, I'm exhausted, but I'm excited, you know, so that's where I'm at right now, so hi to everybody on my CMI fertility groups. Hi to everyone on my babysitter groups. Hi to all my marine spouses and everything. Oh, they did give me a military discount um, because my husband's a veteran. Um, so, yeah, they gave us a military discount. And I did the payment plan for the two years. And I was going to pay in full, and that was my intention. But I kind of decided to hold on to the money um, more for emergency purposes so I figure monthly payments wouldn't you know be terrible it's only two hundred and something dollars a month for two years um, with their two hundred fifty dollar every six month fee so it's not bad it's just an extra thousand dollars on top of what they quoted me because I am doing monitoring with CMY and I am gonna you know, use their IVF services, and those are two separate costs that they roll into one, but they did give me a discount, so I appreciate that so much. And, um, yeah, shout out to Dr. Kiltz. He said my name on the Fireside Chat Sunday for the third time. I do count, and I do watch every Sunday, and he didn't answer my questions, but usually he does, and I understand, you know. Everybody's like throwing everything at him on Facebook and Instagram. So everybody's got all kinds of questions, you know. I know I have a ton, so I do utilize the feature where they, um, where if you ask a question and he doesn't get to it, you can actually send a message and then the nursing team or somebody will get back to you and answer you. So you do get your question answered, just probably not on screen. So it's appreciated and helpful. So if you watch a fire ch uh, fireside chat on Sunday, you know, you'll get a lot of information. And yeah, that's all I got to say. So looking forward to the process and I'll let you guys in on it as I go. And, you know, that's about it. So see you next time, you guys. All right. Bye.